from the capital city of Charleston, West Virginia, this is Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. Inside West Virginia Politics is brought to you by AARP West Virginia, your ally for real possibilities in the Mountain State. Good Sunday morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside West Virginia Politics. I'm your co-host, Mark Curtis, along with my co-host, Adrian Robbins. A very special program today. We're going to be talking about religion and politics. What's the old saying in a social setting you shouldn't discuss either? We'll talk about both on the show today. We are honored uh, to be in the presence of the Most Reverend Mark E. Brennan. He is the new Bishop of the Diocese of Wheeling, Charleston. Bishop Brennan, pleasure to meet you. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. This is exciting. You've been bishop for just about two weeks now. That's You've right. been busy, to say the least. How, how's it going the first couple of weeks? Very good. I'm doing what I, uh, I thought I should do from the start, which is to uh, get around to uh, different parts of the state, get to meet people, uh, see what they're doing, uh, what's going on, what else could the church be doing in each place, you know. But I, I've enjoyed it. Uh, this week down in Charleston after last week up in the Wheeling area, and then uh, over the weekend, we'll be up in Martinsburg in the Eastern Panhandle. And then we'll find our way to around other places too. You know? But getting to know people and find out where they are and what they're doing is my first, my first priority right now. You're obviously getting to meet plenty of people around the state. Yes, indeed. What are you hearing from these people? Well, they're, uh, they're hopeful that uh, things that the, will change, things that, uh, that have bothered them, upset them, angered them in some cases. Uh, uh, will, in terms of church leadership, will will change. I mean, all I can say is I'll I'll do my best. You know, I think uh, if you're going to serve the people, then you serve the people. You know, you you know, serve yourself. So uh, that's 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 my my uh, uh, the effort I'm gonna, I'm going to make as bishop here. We got to talk about the setting that we're in. This is such a beautiful facility. We are at the Basilica of the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart here in Charleston. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. And so thank you for allowing us to tape the show here this week. Um, it occurs to me looking at your resume, you were a parish priest for a good stretch of time um, before you became a, an administrator. How does that help you uh, on the street level, dealing with Catholics and other people in the community, the fact that you have that parish <clears throat> priest experience? You know, what you learn as a parish priest is that uh, Religion, in the end, uh, is really about connecting people to God and to one another. And it's good to learn that lesson uh, early. And I'm glad I had that experience in parish life. You learn to, you know, you listen to people's stories, the, the good, the bad, everything that's going on in their life, their joys, their sorrows. Uh, challenges they face. You get to know families. If they're in a parish for a long time, you, you, kind of, you get to know history of the family and, and, and all they're dealing with and the good things, again, good and the bad. Uh, but all of that, I think, enriches my experience as a, uh, as a pastoral minister as a, and I was a bishop. You know, I think I'd be much, um, how would you say, I, I, deficient in that understanding had I not spent a long, as much time as I have in parish ministry. Such an interesting different background, obviously, and I guess everyone does have a different background. For those who haven't gotten a chance to meet you, what can they expect with you leading the church now? In, in terms of dealing with some of the problems that we've had, the only way to really overcome evil is to do good. And so that's what I, I hope to, to do here is to do some good. You know? Um, and I don't know how long I'll have. Uh, it's intimated me, to me that even though I'm a little older than the average bishop pointed to a diocese, that, uh, that they'll give me a longer time than, than usual. To, uh, 75 won't be held the official retirement age. I don't have to, you know, they'll, they'll let that slide by, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, give me some time to, to, to do the work. Uh, but I just, I guess all those insights and experiences and whatever wisdom I gained as a parish priest, bring that to my ministry here uh, in the Wheeling Charleston Archdiocese. And I really enjoy getting, the people have been so wonderful in receiving me. Uh, I just have very positive uh, expectations. There'll be problems to deal with, there are. Always, but I learned that as a parish priest, you could deal with problems. All right, that's okay. 
uh, but still it's about the people and about connecting them with one another and with God. You alerted to the, the troubles that the church has had in this diocese. Mm -hmm. Your predecessor, uh, Reverend Michael Bransfield, mm -hmm. was dismissed and, and you have taken his place and there still is the matter of disciplinary action and, right. and you know, rebuilding the church after a scandal like that. We're going to talk about that more in detail in our next segment. We invite everyone to stay with us here with Bishop Brennan on this week's edition of Inside West Virginia Politics.